Welcome back, sleepers. Today, we're reviewing the Nest Bedding Starling. This is their newest model of all foam mattress design with a fairly thick comfort layer. Its design includes five distinct foam layers, with one of them being a special contour grid that they claim provides a more exact contour to one's body and improves press relief. They also designed the top two layers to be switched so sleepers can experiment with the pros and cons of each combination. So, a lot going on here that your typical all foam mattress doesn't have, but does it make it difference in the real world, or is it more just marketing? We ran the Starlink through our carefully crafted battery of 10 objective and data-driven tests to find out. Real quick before we jump into the performance scores, we recently updated our scoring system to version 1.2. Our updates are designed to help make our scores, ratings, color codes, and descriptions more intuitive and easier to understand. In addition, our 1.2 updates create greater separation in our scores, which helps to create a clear distinction between mattress performance. For the Starling, we saw good, but admittedly pretty average performance with most of the categories. Response time and edge sport were on the high end at 9.6 and 9.5 respectively. Press Relief and Company both scored a 9.0. Cooling and Sex were a little lower down with scores in the low 8s, with Motion Transfer and Off Gassing receiving the lowest scores in the mid 7 range. Altogether, the mattress scored an 8.58, which is actually a little lower than the historic average of 8.63 based on all of our mattress tests to date. Throughout the rest of the video, we'll discuss and expand on each category score. First up, let's talk about the Starlink's firmness. This mattress is only available in a single firmness option. It has a medium firm feel, coming in at a 6 out of 10 on the firmness scale. This is the most popular firmness level and is appropriate for most sleepers. Next, we're going to talk through what the nest bedding Starlink does best. First of all, the mattress has excellent pressure relief with its 5 and a quarter inch comfort layer. Its design also includes a special layer with a sharp grid of dense foam to aid in pressure relief and contouring to sleepers' bodies. Second, the company policies of the Nest Bedding are more generous than many companies. It includes a full year trial period, lifetime warranty, and a unique freebie that we'll discuss later on. Third, the mattress has a fast but sure response despite somewhat low balance levels. This strikes a nice balance field that is still lively to move around on. However, all mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the Starling. First, the price tag is a bit of a shock when compared to other all foam mattress models. It's roughly 67% more expensive than the average foam mattress price based on all of our models we've tested to date. Second, motion transfer is a bit high. It's not so bad as to warn off everybody, but those who are sensitive to movements during the night should be aware. Third, and this is a bit of a nitpick, but the off-gassing was also a bit much. It's nothing crazy, but it did take longer than a week to fully dissipate. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Nest Bedding Starling has excellent support. During our test, I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. The mattress uses an all foam 7.25 inch support layer. The support layer is a little less than the average thickness of 7.8 inches based on all of our tests to date. Nevertheless, the Starling still created ample support. I would recommend it for all sleeping positions and body weights up to 300 pounds. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com slash mattress dash quiz. There, you can submit your needs and preferences, and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat in overall coolant performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. The Nest Bedding Starling has a good level of coolant performance. During our tests, I did feel a slight level of heat retention, but it was nothing extreme or excessive. Typically, all foam mattresses struggle more with cooling compared to hybrid and coil-based mattresses. The Starling uses high-quality foams that breathe better and don't retain as much heat. In addition, the contour foam design within the core of the mattress creates an air gap, which is definitely helping with breathability. Even so, the lack of coils limits airflow, and we don't have any other substantial cooling materials within the mattress. For those who describe themselves as a hot sleeper, you're going to be better off with nest bedding Sparrow or another hybrid mattress. That said, for those sleepers with more typical cooling needs, the Starling should be sufficiently cool enough. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12-pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. 
Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel like you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preference factor. Some prefer more, others less. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.06 inches of pressure point sinkage. This is 0.09 inches less sinkage than the average of 2.15 inches. The mattress creates a balanced and even level of body contouring hug. While all foam mattresses, especially those that contain memory foam, can sometimes create an excessive hug and a stuck feeling, the Starling does a good job at resisting that type of a sensation. The top layer is a high response polyfoam called Interjex. In my view, Interjex feels more like a latex foam than a memory foam. This layer works with the 1.25 inch memory foam layer and contour polyfoam layer within the core to create the moderate sinkage and balanced body contouring hug. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 pound medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 pound medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. The Nest Bedding Starling has a moderate level of motion transfer. During our test, we measured a total acceleration range of 9.83 meters per second squared. This is 13.6% more motion than the average of 8.65 meters per second squared. Typically, all foam mattresses will have lower motion transfer. However, Starling's inclusion of a high response, high bounce foam on top, combined with the contour grid polyfoam layer, create the environment for higher than average motion. In our motion transfer chart, we can see the highest motion from zero to 0 0.15 seconds. Motion drops significantly thereafter, but we do see one small motion blip from 0 0.45 to 0 0.52 seconds. By 0 0.60 seconds, we return to near zero levels of energy. While the motion spike is a little higher than the threshold for low motion, the motion duration is quite restrained at 0.6 seconds. More sensitive sleepers could find this level of motion to be problematic, but for most, I don't expect this level of motion will be a major issue. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball on the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes for the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quick responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of a stuck feeling. The Nest Bedding Starling has a very fast level of material response. During our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.2 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.8 seconds. The Starling's mostly recovered response time is 0.21 seconds faster than the average of 0.41 seconds. The Starling's fully recovered response time is 0.08 seconds faster than the average of 0.88 seconds. The topmost layer of responsive polyfoam rebounds effectively instantly. However, the 1.25 inch memory foam layer is a bit slower to respond. When we look at the total combination of materials, it's still a very fast response. Most sleepers will find this level of material responsiveness to be more than sufficient. To run the bounce test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preference factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less bounce as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The Nest Bedding Starling has a low level bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 7.94 inches. The Starling has 1.74 inches less bounce than the average of 9.68 inches. The lower level of bounce is what we expected. Typically, all foam mattress designs have less bounce compared to coil and hybrid mattresses, and that's exactly what we see here. While the highly responsive polyfoam on top is certainly helping to add to the bounce, when combined with the contour grid and the 1.25 inch memory foam comfort layer, it's still keeping total bounce height well below average. This lower level of bounce will inhibit sex performance. However, the Interjex foam top layer helps keep the mattress fairly easy to move around on despite the relatively low bounce height. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better, as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. The Nest Bedding Starling has outstanding edge support for sitting and excellent lying edge support. In our sitting edge support test, we measured a sitting sinkage compression of 3.0 inches. This is 1.06 inches less sitting sinkage compression than the average of 4.06 inches. Even when sitting directly on the edge of the mattress, the Starling does a great job of retaining its shape and support. Lying edge support was nearly as good. During our test, I felt well supported in all seam positions when lying directly on the edge of the mattress. Notably, the mattress lacks any type of reinforced perimeter edge support foam. Nevertheless, the Starling still created robust sitting and lying edge support. 
I'm really pleased to see the 1.75 inch thick foundational foam, which has a density of 3.5 pounds per cubic foot. This is significantly denser than most sport foams, which are typically 1.5 to 1.8 PCF. The 12 and a half inch total profile height, high density foams, and high quality foams from top to bottom are all having a positive impact on edge support. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce, more supportive edges are the most important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being lesser weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce, better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. The Nest Bedding Starling has a good level of sex performance, though it's not exactly amazing. Most notably, the Starling has a low level of bounce at 7.94 inches. This lower bounce makes sex more strenuous and difficult. On the positive side, sitting edge support is excellent, which increases the sexable surface area. Beyond edge support and bounce, the mattress has excellent pressure relief, minimal noise, and great cooling. The lack of any type of coils means we have less bounce and a less engaging surface. As a result, the Starling just isn't as good for sex as a mattress with coils. That said, with respect to other fall mattresses, the Starling is modestly better than the average sex score of 7.9. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. The Nest Bedding Starling has excellent pressure relief. During our test, I felt no significant pressure points anywhere on my body. The mattress has an incredibly robust and thick comfort layer that's five and a quarter inches thick. This is 1.15 inches thicker than the average comfort layer thickness, which is 4.1 inches. The extra foam ensures there's an even and balanced level of compression in the mattress, which helps avoid sleeper bodies coming into greater contact with the harder and less comfortable support foams. In addition, the more unique contour foam grid layer is likely having a positive impact on the pressure relief. This type of grid-like pattern is able to more easily contour to the body as the above foams can collapse into the grid pockets. Overall, I am pleased with the level of pressure relief and I expect most sleepers will find this pressure relief performance to be excellent. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with a less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing on the Starling was strong out of the box and the mattress smelled for nine days. Compared to the average off-gassing duration of six days, this mattress is a little bit longer for the smell to fully dissipate. The company's score takes a look at the factors that may influence your experience with the mattress. Facts include length of trial period, warranty, shipping costs, return costs, trust, and country of origin. The Nest Bedding Starling has a great company score, offering a 365 night trial period and a lifetime warranty. In addition, they offer both free shipping and free returns. Note the Nest Bedding only allows for one return or exchange per calendar year. One more unique feature to Nest Bedding is their Lifetime Renewal Exchange Program. Basically, they allow you to replace the comfort layer of the mattress once during its lifetime. Theoretically, this could extend the life of the mattress for free. I would recommend the Nest Bedding style for sleepers who are looking for a thick comfort layer without an overly plush feel. The mattress utilizes a thick five and a quarter inch high quality comfort layer, but maintains a medium firm feel, six out of 10 on the firmness scale, and has a balanced level of contour and hug. Another great feature is its excellent edge support that gives you more surface to work with for sleeping or amorous activities. I'd also recommend the Starling for its great company policies, which include a year long trial period and a one time replacement of the comfort layer. That said, given the higher than average price point, I wanted to see this mattress perform better. While I appreciate the innovation of the Contra Grid Polyfoam layer, I don't think it's enough to recommend this mattress over the better performing and similarly priced Nest Bedding Sparrow. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope it's been helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Nest Bedding, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to get subscribed, ring the head bell, and visit us over at naplab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching.